Good morning, everyone. Today I will start the symposium with my presentation about biochemical and cellular effect of uh, new herb interacting compounds on the expression of herb potassium channel proteins and thus finding a possible cure for drug-induced long QT syndrome and tercite deformance. So, let's start with some background information about long QT syndrome. Uh, long QT syndrome is a prolonging of the QT interval, which can be seen at the Q peak and the T wave here at the electrocardiogram. And it can either be congenital or acquired. Um, the human eater agoga related gene, or HER, codes for a, uh, a potassium uh, channel, which is crucial in the delay to rectify potassium current, which is used in the myocardial action potential in phase two and three, again to um, uh, rectify the uh, current back to the baseline. And again, in uh, long QT syndrome, this is prolonged at phase two and three. And this can also result in early atrial depolarizations, seen at the red line, um, due to reactivation of calcium channels. These EODs can trigger fatal uh, ventricular tachycardia, called tercite deformed, which is translated as a twisting of the points, which can be seen here, going from positive to negative and then back to positive again at the ECG. So, also, drugs can induce long QT syndrome. So it can also be congenital, but also uh, drug induced. Many antiarrhythmic agents like uh, beta blockers or antipsychotic drugs, antiprotozoal drugs, cocaine, can all uh, induce long QT syndrome. A one to two year exposure to one of these drugs can increase the risk of having a tercet deformed uh, by one to three percent. And at a third, of um, drugs rejected from this time period are due to having tercite deformed as an adverse event of one of these drugs. And 50% of FDA recalled drugs turned out to be herb channel protein blockers. So that's a lot of recalled drugs because of this um, long QT syndrome. Um, this is due to drugs uh, being lipophilic uh, in a lot of cases and thus having a high affinity for the her channels and thus blocking them or blocking maturation or trafficking. So here we can see a cell. So when um, her protein is translated from the DNA, it is uh, stuck in the endoplasmic reticulum as an immature her protein. It can then travel to the Golgi apparatus and to the cell membrane, um, turning into a mature and fully functional her protein. So uh, pentamidine, for example, uh, is a drug that can induce long QT syndrome by uh, blocking channel uh, trafficking and maturation, meaning that the uh, her protein will get stuck in the ER, not being functional at the cell membrane. At the Western blood, it is seen as a very dark immature protein band compared to um, like the lighter upper band, which is for the mature her protein. <coughs> But when dofetilite is added, which is an antiarrhythmic drug, it can rescue this trafficking. So it brings her protein back to the cell membrane, which can be seen as a darker upper mature band in the Western blood. But um, this still means that there is a long QT syndrome because dofetilite still rescues the her protein, but it blocks it too. So this is not very good, as you can imagine. Here we can see, for example, the herb channel being closed, and here it is open, allowing uh, potassium current flow. But here we can see how it is being blocked, even though the channel is still open, it can be blocked by dofetilite, blocking the outside of, uh, of the herb uh, channel protein. But, however, when we add an allosteric uh, modulator, like a LOT compound, for example, 7244, which is seen here, it can bind to the outside of the channel protein um, lifting the block caused by the petalite and allowing uh, the current. So it could hypothetically cure long QT syndrome. So here we can see the uh, myocardial action potential again. Here it is uh, normal. 
but when we add Pentelia and Dovetalite, we can see that there's longer action potential, uh, which is the long QT syndrome, and the uh, early after depolarizations it, it can cause. When we only add LOV7244, it actually shortens the uh, a myocardial action potential. And, but when we uh, combine all of these drugs, the action <coughs> potential can turn back to normal again. So to which extent do these IPR interacting uh, new love compounds affect herb channel trafficking and maturation and cell, thus cell membrane expression? I hypothesize that at least one of the love compounds I research would uh, bind to the herb channel proteins and thus promoting uh, channel, uh, channel maturation and trafficking, which is impaired by pentamine. I used um, uh, human embryonic kidney cells, which are stably expressing the, uh, the human ether gogo related gene, so HERC. Um, and I used pentamidine, uh, which I mentioned for the uh, impairment of the HERC channels, maturation and trafficking, and dovetalite for the rescue. And I tested LOV7244 and 7305 at different concentrations of these cells. And I did this with Western blot analysis and quantification and some immunofluorescence staining for HERC uh, channels at the membrane and also beneficiary for all cell membrane proteins. So when we see, uh, when we look at some of the uh, more important results, we can see that when LOV724 and dovetalite are uh, added for treatment of the pentamidine induced long QT syndrome, we can see here at the upper band that there is a lot of mature herd proteins, meaning that there is rescue, but this is because of dovetalite. But as we saw, 7244 could hypothetically unblock the channel by removing dovetalite due to structure changes. So it can still, uh, does not impair dovetalite's uh, work of uh, the rescue. So when we look at LOV705 with pentamidine, so without dovetalite, we can again see a very dark uh, mature band, which means it um, does the same as dovetalite, so it rescues a lot of herb protein. We've only tested uh, lower concentrations because at high concentrations, the combination of 7305 and pentamidine turned out to be too toxic for the cells. And when we compare the 7305 to dovetalite, so when dovetalite uh, treatment is administered uh, together with pentamidine, we can also see that there's a bit of uh, mature herd proteins, but as we can see in the quantification, it's less than as uh, seen with the 705. So this might, uh, this means that 705 has more rescue than dovetalite at same low concentrations. When we look at immunofluorescence, I hope you can see it with the light, otherwise I will just tell you. When we see the pancaterin staining, we can see the cell membrane staining, which are very uh, sharp lines. Um, this is also seen at the Herc channel uh, staining, which we can see here at the control, at the dovetalite and the dovetalite rescue group. You can see very distinct lines which are also seen in pancaterin. Um, but when we look at the only pentamidine treated group, which impairs channel maturation, and the love 724 uh, group with pentamidine, we can see the lines aren't as uh, distinctly sharp. So that means that there's less uh, herd protein in the membrane and more inside of the cell and in the endoplasmic reticulum. So, concluding, LOV7204 does not affect her channel uh, traffic when uh, that traffic is rescued by uh, dovetalite. So this could mean that there's a possible co-treatment of 7244 and dovetalite for drug-induced long QT syndrome. So when uh, people are treated with pentamidine, we could administer dovetalite in combination with 7244 to treat this drug-induced long QT syndrome. But uh, more importantly, it could maybe also um, uh, cure congenital long QT syndrome type 2, which also has an impairment of her channel trafficking, which is inherited. 
Um, Dopetolite-like uh, drugs, like E4031, have proven to <laughs> have proven to um, uh, rescue the uh, impaired herb trafficking at these uh, congenital long QT syndrome patients. So uh, they still block the channels, but if we may an administer 7244, we can also cure congenital long QT syndrome of these patients. 7315 can rescue herb channel trafficking on its own at low concentrations and even better than dopetalite. As we saw, the, um, channel, uh, um, the herb channel rescue was uh, higher at the same low concentrations of 7305 compared to dopetalite. So that this means that 7305 um, could um, replace dofetilite in a treatment for drug-induced long QT syndrome. Um, however, more research needs to be done because we still don't know um, how what compounds react with other drugs. I've only tested pentamidine and uh, dofetilite so far, but maybe we can um, try treatment with other like beta blockers, for example, instead of pentamidine, or E4031 instead of dofetilite. And how do uh, love compounds affect the myocardial action potential? We only hypothesized that, for example, 7204 normalizes the action potential, but maybe 7305, which replaces dofetilite, can still block the channel protein and maybe even prolong the uh, long QT syndrome even further. So we still don't know. And can love compounds cure drug-induced or congenital long QT syndrome and torsade de pointe when tested in vivo? We still need to do animal experiments next to the patch clamp experiments for the action potential to ensure that this is a safe compound to use for co-treatment for long QT syndrome, which is drug-induced. So thanks very much for listening, everyone.